Good morning, everybody. Today is September 23rd. Dr. Vong here with your COVID update. Um, we had 145,000 cases in the U.S. yesterday. Alaska is super, super hot. It is hitting all the unvaccinated states, Idaho, Oregon, Wyoming. And um, some people think, and I think, it's, you know, the Northeast is due for another hit. And um, it could come back to, down to the South or a new variant. we got to get these numbers up and vaccinated. In the news, the FDA did approve um, the formal FDA approved uh, Pfizer booster shots for 65 and over and immunocompromised people, which they are going to outline later. Um, they're going to debate some of that uh, in the CDC later, I think today, actually. And that will, what immunocompromise means, whether it's oncology patients or um, definitely like frontline health workers. I mean, there's some thought that it could be anybody like teachers and, um, and grocery store people, you know, frontline workers, as they call them. Uh, but definitely the immunocompromised for sure. But we'll see. Um, and we're still waiting on um, submission. The Pfizer has not submitted their data for uh, kids 5 to 11. Um, and that was just a press release, by the way, that came out. So no one's really reviewed that data yet. So we'll see. We'll see what happens there. That was uh, also the J&J &J booster. So, but that, that'll come down the pipeline. What we need to do, you know, I think, I think people are getting a little bit overly optimistic about cases going down this fall. And I, man, I'm telling you, I know we're hovering down around, you know, we're, it looks like we're trending back down, <clears throat> but we do this. If you go back and look at all of 2020, we did a little spike, went down, a little spike, went down, a little spike, and we had a huge surge, right? So I want you all to look at that as like one just big surge last year. I'm telling you, this is going to be the second surge. So we are way above where we were this time last year. I mean, this time last year, we're talking about 20,000 cases. Um, and we were scared to reopen schools. And we did the best we could. And uh, my little five-year-old was in pre-K for all of like maybe three weeks. And then we said, nope, took her back because a lot of positive cases. And uh, we didn't put her back in school until back in, the, in March. But uh, we were like 20, 25,000 cases opening up schools. We are like 140,000, 450,000 cases now with college football games and high school football games and like peewee baseball and like professional sports. And people are like, like see, they see this temporary downturn and they're going, oh man, yeah, no, it's going away. Like open her up. I'm telling you, it's going to like turn and go back up. That's what I expected to, ho to, to, to happen. I hope I'm wrong. I don't think I will be. I think the answer is to really get vaccinated. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I think the, you know, the final dosing will probably be two shots and a booster. And, um, you know, and then globally, we got to get these numbers down. Uh, Biden yesterday committed 500 million more doses to the rest of the world. You know, this is super important. I mean, I, I don't know what Africa is like, what, 4% vaccinated. Um, you know, Malaysia is in trouble and Indonesia is like 14% vaccinated. Oh, and the other thing, the uh, Chinese vaccine, the Sinovac, like I said uh, a few months ago, is not efficacious. Like the uh, paper on Sinovac was 50.4% efficacious. And they sold, they've sold so many of that um Sinovac to the rest of the globe. Now the globe are going to need boosters on the Sinovac or something different. So you can almost consider them as like a coin toss. If any countries that um, passed out Sinovac. So what happened there? People were like, well, Dr. V, why is Sinovac not, um, not as effective? Well, they use an older technology instead of using this newer mRNA, which it like baffles me. The anti-vax people are like, this is new technology. You don't know the long-term effects. Like we know the shit's really good. You know, 94% of uh, efficacious from Moderna, Pfizer, even though it's dropping down, we know with a third booster, it's doing better. And remember, the reason why Pfizer is losing its immunity is because it's um, um, the, the dosing for Moderna vaccine is 100 micrograms of messenger RNA in it, and uh, Pfizer's only 30. So Pfizer's a third of the dose of a Moderna. There's other differences, but how much messenger RNA you're actually getting is also different. So I'm not surprised to see that the uh, Pfizer um, protection is decreasing. But now, 
the anti-vax were like, it's new technology, you know, like, I don't know. But so what happened is in the Sinovac, they used a older, um, neutralized <laughs> virus. Um, and they deleted, uh, certain sequences, uh, to, to inactivate the SARS-CoV-2. And what happened was they, you know, it's a, it's your best guess. They just took out too many sequences and, um, and the body is just not having as a robust immune response. So there's a possibility that the, bo the body already kind of recognizes it or, or thinks, you know, like sometimes there are sequences that are so common, you can't just uh, hit it all. We know that the sequence that really makes um, the, the SARS-CoV-2 virus unique is its spike protein. And there are these anti-vaxxers, and you can see people on my fan page who are like, you know, why get the vaccine? It's just putting a bunch of spike in all your cells. I'm like, you're an idiot. You don't know how it works. I've done videos on, on what that really means. No, you're not getting like little spikes all over all your cells. Like, like they think like you're gonna get like little spikes popping out of your forehead or skin or organs or something. Like that's not how this works. But anyway, so the, the, the call it unique signature. Do you remember when like Audi this was about 2010. Got the first like little running lights, headlights underneath the the running like strips of lights underneath their headlights. And this was probably around 2008, nine. And uh, they were on all the time. This never happened before Audi did this. And every time you saw a car come down with that strip of lights underneath the headlights, you'd go, that's an Audi, that's a new Audi. Well, that's like SARS-CoV-2. It has a very specific, spike protein signature headlight that when the body sees it it recognizes it immediately and be like you you're a foreigner you know so you're foreign to my body and um you know there's a good chance that the sinovac the scientists just took too much of the key characteristics out of the um of their old technology of de de deactivating the the virus and it's just not eliciting a strong enough immune response. So are they gonna do boosters? Who knows? Are they going to um, reformulate it? Who knows? What I did tell y'all back in January or, or, or February or so, I said, dude, there is no effing way, no effing way that the United States is gonna buy any vaccine out of China. So that ain't happening. Who remembers that video? Anyway, get vaccinated. And stay safe, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow for another COVID update.